Dave Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget, and this is HQ Videos for you. You just saw some of my books there, particularly my book of Ali. It's one of my favorite photographs of Ali working out at the gym. Some family baby pictures there. Great great grandfather and great great grandmother. And there we have a print I purchased while I was in Detroit of Ali knocking out Sonny Liston. And as we navigate through this mess here, you're going to see a bowl of my, yes, Dollar Tree shrimp. Any salad and outback bread while I sit back and check out Regina King's directorial debut, One Night in Miami. So sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this Dollar Tree video. Yes, it's a, another Dollar Tree dollar movie video, and it's still January. Um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit, though. I really planned on doing a video kind of catching you guys up on what I've been watching, either streaming, Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, or actually what I have purchased physical media. Uh, mostly Dollar Tree, some eBay, some Amazon. But uh, first of all, first store we have here. These Dollar Trees are getting so many movies in; they're kind of blending in with um, some of their old movies. So. Kind of hard to disseminate when the new movies are coming in from the old movies that have already been there. But I do see a couple of titles here that are new to the, the batch. So, and we found a couple movies at this at the next stop. But I did find these cool astrology books. So I got one for my son and one for my wife and one for me. So I hear a couple more stops, then uh, I got some stuff to do. While I'm rummaging through movies, I'll just go over some of the movies I've been actually checking out in streaming or physical media. Let's start out with Amazon Prime's One Night in Miami. One Night in Miami is a 2020 American drama film about a fictionalized meeting of Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown, and Sam Cooke in a room at the Hampton House, February 1964, celebrating Ali's surprise title win over Sonny Liston. It is the feature, first feature film directed by Regina King from a screenplay by Kemp Powers, based on a stage play of the same name. Stars Kingsley, Ben Adir, Eli Gore, Aldous Hodge, and Leslie Odom Jr. Very interesting take on a possible meeting of four icon, American icons, uh, entertainer, athlete, activist. I love the guy who played Ali. I think he did an outstanding job. Uh, head and shoulders above Will Smith. I hated Will Smith rendition of Ali. Love Will Smith just hated that particular uh, rendition of him doing Ali. The guy who did Malcolm X, even though physically he probably looked more like Malcolm X than Denzel as far as the actual characteristics and actually capturing the essence of Malcolm X. I think he felt a little bit short. He actually honestly kind of reminded me more 
of Barack Obama than actually Malcolm X, just in his mannerisms. Um, but overall, really enjoyed the movie One Night in Miami. Wonder Woman 1984 debuted on HBO Max as well as in theaters. Wonder Woman 1984 is a 2020 American superhero film based on the DC comic character Wonder Woman. It's a sequel to 2017's Wonder Woman and the ninth installation in the DC Extended Universe. The film is directed by Patty Jenkins from the script she wrote with Jeff Johns and David Callahan. Based on a story by John and Jenkins. Gal Gadot stars as Dana Prince, Wonder Woman, alongside Chris Pine, Kristen Wiig, Pedro Pascal, Robin White, and Connie Nielsen. To be completely honest, I had to watch this twice. The first time I watched it, I actually fell asleep during a good chunk of it. Uh, if you're expecting Marvel type action, you're not going to get it. This is more DC storyline. It does have some great action scenes in it, um, but it's more storyline and plot twist. So overall, I did enjoy it. Uh, I could have done without the Wonder Woman love interest storyline. Uh, I didn't enjoy it as much as the original Wonder Woman. It didn't really flow as well for me as far as pace, but overall, I did enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to this coming out on physical media, specifically 3D. Uh, there are some scenes I'd love to see how it looks uh, on 3D. Moving over to the Disney Channel, we have the second season of The Mandalorian. It appears on the Disney Channel. Uh, this is the second season of the American television series. The Mandalorian stars Pedro Pascal as the title character, and you can also see him on Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, a bounty cut a bounty hunter is trying to return the child, in the child's in quotations, to his people, the Jedi. It is part of the Star Wars franchise set after the events of Return of the Jedi. Okay, just went to my second Dollar Tree. First one was a bust. This one actually got some really goodies in here. Actually got one steel case, just for a buck. So, not a bad start. I really enjoyed this season of The Mandalorian. Great action, great storyline. I actually saw some bases I didn't expect to see. And don't want to give too much away though, but if you don't know who Grogu is, you might want to watch the second season of The Mandalorian. Also appearing on the Disney Channel was the animated full length movie, Soul. Soul is the 2020 American computer animated fantasy comedy drama film produced by Pixar Animation Studios and released by Walt Disney Pictures, directed by Pete Docter and co-directed by Kent Powers. The film stars voices of Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, Graham Norton, Alicia Braga, Felicia Rashad, Daniel Rawlings, Questlove from The Roots, and the lovely Angela Bassett. The story follows a middle school music teacher named Joe Gardner who seeks to reunite his soul and body after they are accidentally separated just before his big break as a jazz musician. So is the first Pixar film to feature an African American protagonist. <clears throat> this was a great animated feature. I'm a huge Jamie Foxx fan. I've been a Jamie Foxx fan when he was with Living Colors. Uh, also a fan of him as a singer. Uh, comedian and even as a dramatic actor doing Ray just add more feather in his cap now being a voiceover for cartoons so really enjoy Saul great family film uh, my wife and son and I all watched it all enjoyed it highly recommend it Saul and as we casually stroll over to Netflix my next pick is The Perfection uh, Perfection is a 2018 American psychological horror thriller film directed by Richard Shepard from a screenplay by Shepard, Nicole Snyder, and Eric C. Charmello. It stars Allison Williams, Logan Browning, and Steven Weber. And this movie had been in my Netflix list for I don't know how long and just decided to watch it. I actually thought it was one type of genre and ended up being a completely different type of genre but 
It was a good thing, though. It's a very twisted movie. Uh, unlike Saul, this is strictly for adults. Um, I highly recommend if you have Netflix to check out The Perfection. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Staying with Netflix, we have Cobra Kai. Uh, Cobra Kai is an American martial arts comedy drama streaming television series based on the original Karate Kid films by Robert Mark Carmen. The series was created by Josh Held, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Slosberg, and stars Ralph Macchio and William Zavka, who reprises uh, their roles as Daniel Russo, Daniel LaRusso, and Johnny Lawrence from the 1984, 1984 film The Karate Kid. Uh, really love this. Then even remotely think I would like this. I think, I'm pretty sure they pl it started on YouTube. Um, my son and, son and I watched the first series and fell in love with it. My wife just kind of caught the third third season of this. And I, I think with that kind of 80s nostalgia feel, bringing all those actors back from the 80s to reprise their roles, I think she kind of got into it also. So I highly recommend watching Cobra Kai. If you haven't seen the first two seasons, check it out on Netflix and catch up and watch the third season. It's actually a CW show, but I actually watch it on Netflix and I'll also always get the physical copy of it. But this is the 15th and last season of Supernatural. Uh, Supernatural, an American dark fantasy television series created by Eric Kripke premiered on the CW on October 10th, 2019. The series was initially to set to conclude in May 2020, but the hiatus occurred after the May 23rd, 2020 uh, outbreak of the COVID virus, and the season resumed airing on October 8th, 2020, and I believe did to start airing on Netflix, I believe in March of 2020. <clears throat> because great television shows I think of how they ended shows that I, I really love that had really average or crappy endings or things like Heroes a lot of that was due to the strike um, Smallville he just kind of lost his luster after they had some characters main characters leave the show still love Smallville just in like the last season X-Files, a huge X-Files fan. They even had a reboot of X-Files. Just didn't like the way they ended that. Um, Sopranos, The Wire, great shows. Sopranos, their ending was kind of a cop-out to me. The Wire had three great seasons. That last season just sucked. But when I think of fantastic television shows that just had a killer endings, Love Battlestar Galactica, um, FX, The Shield, Breaking Bad, of course, one of the best endings ever. Um, ABC's Lost, New Heart, the New Heart show, might be one of the top endings ever. Uh, Friends, I like the way that end, and Supernatural. Now I can add that to the list of fantastic endings to a very long life or television show, Supernatural. Um, don't give spoilers away. I hate doing that. But they could have ended the show a lot of different ways. I actually wasn't keeping, up, keeping track of the episode count. I actually thought the show was earlier than it was. And they had another episode. I'm like, you know, why? Yes, no, whatever. Just go through the whole litany of emotions. So, but Supernatural, fantastic ending, fantastic series. Highly recommend it. All the movies I've been talking about are television shows. And streaming. I have been watching some physical stuff also. So here's some Dollar Tree titles that might be in your area you might want to check out. Low budget horror film of the night. It's kind of a suspense thriller. Rigor Mortis, probably one of the best Asian horror pictures, action pictures I've seen in a while. These are just a few of the titles. I can go on with titles such as Traders, Indigenous, The Offering, Surveillance, Cold Skin, <laughs> Trailer Park, Shark, High Crimes. All these titles I picked up at uh, Dollar Tree. So 
hopefully you guys run across some of these titles and maybe guys let me know about some titles that I'm not familiar with. I had planned on doing a video regarding one of those stacks, but again, Dollar Tree just slapped me in the face with uh, another batch of movies. They keep slapping me in the face, and I was like, thank you, might have another. So let me get these guys situated, scanned in, and we'll go over these in just a minute. I have everything scanned into my CLZ movies app. And that's Charlie Lima Zebra. Uh, I think two, two of these I had to put in manually, but the rest scanned in. Well, two I had to put in manually, one uh, I couldn't put in. But let's get into it. We're going to start out with a triple joint. It looks like, it looks like an Echo Bridge, Blood of the Dragon. This is a triple joint. Martial Arts Picture, Duel of the Iron Fist, Eagle Claws Champion, and Militant, Militant Eagle. I know I have Militant Eagle, Eagle probably on several different copies. With just one disc, normal Echo Bridge. Next, <clears throat> I have Ant Boy. And I've been seeing these for, for months. But I've never seen <clears throat> all three together at the same time, so I said, why not? So you have that boy one superheroes come in all sizes, and this is a Syndigem Syndigem release. Then you have Ant Boy Revenge of the Red Fury. And I'm, I think my son has watched at least one of these. I think he likes. I haven't seen any of these. And if you have, leave it in the comment in the section. I'm assuming this is Ant Boy 2 Revenge of the Red Fury. And. At Boy 3, the final chapter. I'm not sure if this is the same kit. Looks similar. And this is also. You no. Know, a Viva. I don't know if Viva and Cindy Jim are associated with each other. But the At Boy trilogy. Next. Battle Creek. And just interesting, some names stuck out to me. Uh, Bill Skarsgård, uh, of course, Del Orlando, Allison Eastwood. I'm assuming uh, maybe that's kind uh, of Eastwood's daughter, maybe. Uh, Battle Creek. Some scars never heal. I'm assuming this is uh, maybe a drama thriller. Uh, who releases this? Is Eisenhower, Hanover, excuse me, I'm my contact from Hanover House. Battle Creek. I want to go to Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm just curious. And I haven't seen any of those. Uh, Bayou Caviar. Never heard of this, but again, some interesting actors and actress, actresses, actress. Uh, Thamka Jansen from um, Nip Tuck and um, several other movies. Of course, Richard Dreyfuss and Cuba Gooden Jr. 
a man's desire never tasted so sweet. So I'm assuming this is another kind of suspense thriller. This is a gravitas venture, which is usually you see a lot of those on Amazon. Bayou Caviar. Next we have <clears throat> Black Butterfly. A lot of suspense thrillers in, in this batch. Probably because most of the horn of the stuff I already saw in a lot of those boxes that I was, look, I was looking through at the Dollar Trees. But you have Antonio Baron, Banderas and Jonathan, Jonathan Rise Myers. I'm assuming that's him. Sounds familiar. familiar. Black Butterfly. Sequester. No good deed goes unpunished. And I'm assuming this is another suspense thriller. And this is... Can't read that. The Destron. Can't see who the, the distributor is. Black Butterfly. Next, The Body Tree. I'm assuming this is some kind of horror picture. Uh, nobody Leaves. Ha 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 ha. That's cute. The Body Tree, Nobody Leaves. Didn't catch that the first time. And this is... Send the Gem release. The Body Tree. Next, I'd actually seen this in, on Hamilton Books, but I saw the Blu-ray, so prefer the, prefer the Blu-ray, but until that, I'll stick with the DVD. Um, only person that I recognize is Key Michael, Keegan Michael Key from Key and Peel, also from uh, Keanu, which I thought was hilarious. I want the best films of the year. I saw a trailer of this. It looks pretty decent, though. And who released this is a universal release. Don't think twice. Next, another title that I've never heard of, but some interesting uh, actors. You have uh, Terrence Howard from Empire and a bunch of other movies. Um, Iron Man, uh, Hustle Flow, Lake Bell, and as soon as Josh Lucas who looks familiar. Ghost of New Orleans. Um, I think this is a suspense thriller, maybe a murder picture. And I'm not sure who the distributor is in this SP. Not probably a lot of small distributors in this batch. Ghost of New Orleans. Next, good people. I think I've seen this. I saw this before, just didn't pick it up. Uh, again, more interesting people. Uh, I believe that's Omar Sy, maybe. He looks familiar, though. But of course, you have James Franco, Kate Hudson. Uh, a Little Money Changes Everything. I'm guessing this is maybe a heist movie, a bank robber movie. It's a BBS, BBS film release. Good people. Next, I actually saw this on the last batch. I was at a Dollar Tree and didn't find anything, but I just saw this one movie. A little Dollar, Dollar Tree game I'm playing myself. It's like, if there's only one movie, I'm not that really compelled to get it. I'm not gonna wait in line just for that one DVD that I'm not that compelled. If I see it again in a batch, I'll pick it up. And I saw this, The Institute. There are some places you never come back from. Uh, I'm assuming this is maybe a Maybe a horror or suspense thriller. Uh, possibly dealing with mental illness. Or maybe even physical illness. The Institute. Next, another Ouija movie. Ouija. Ouija. Ouija movie. Ouija 4. I thought I had all the Ouija movies until I saw this. Uh, there's an app for that. Uh, so the Ouija's gone digital now. Interesting. These are very low budget movies also. If you're expecting big things out of these Ouija movies, eh, the first one was pretty decent. The other ones are pretty low budget. But they're fun to watch anyways. Ouija 4. 
and this is a Cinder Gem release. We have BBC Video Planet Earth 4. I know I have two. Still looking for Planet Earth 1 and 3 now. I love these BBC nature videos. Very relaxing. Planet Earth. Next we have a, another Possession movie, The Possession Experiment. And this is a Momentum release. And Momentum actually has some pretty decent indie low budget movies also. Might be watching this tomorrow on my Sunday lineup. Maybe this afternoon. The Possession Experiment. Next we have I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know, like Jemohala, Strange Nature, looks like some kind of beast movie, these waters are hiding a killer, and other ITN, semi gem release, Strange Nature, next we have Top Cat the Movie, and very interesting because of some of the voices they have Rob Schneider and Danny Trejo and not positive I had I believe I had this movie coming in 3D in the mail so I'm waiting on that but I also did, did get the other Top Cat Top Cat Lives at Dollar Tree I believe it was the last batch that we got uh, from Dollar Tree last time beginning of the month this is a Viva release Top Cat the movie, the cat is back. And next we have Transformers, Robots in Disguise, Overlord and Deception Island. And this is a scream or shout, shout release. There we go. So any Transformers fans out there, a nice little pickup and like shout look I always mention a little the back art that they have on their artwork transformers robots in disguise if you hear anything in the background it's probably just my son and wife my wife works on Saturdays and my son is just being him himself the last witness I've seen this and seen this and didn't really want to pick it up, didn't look interesting, but it looked kind of interesting. But I said for a buck, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I don't recognize any of the actors or actresses on here. I'm not sure this is like a Nazi Germany thing. It's a momentum release. Nice. Slip cover. The Witness. And really, I kind of got it because it looks like this movie, really, when you look at it. It almost look, looks like the same movie. I've seen this movie, I don't know how many times, I don't know how many Dollar Trees. My wife and I were watching, it was obviously another Momentum release. And I saw this in the trailer, I'm like, that looks pretty good. And that was Saturday night, Sunday morning, I went to Dollar Tree and picked this up. So, I actually got this before. I got the rest of these. And very interesting. That's huh? some very plain disc art. Nick Sandow. Wannabe. Very interesting looking uh, trailer. Exec executive producer is Martin Scorsese and Dean Devlin. So we have one, the wannabe and the last witness. Two different movies, they just look very much alike. And that glare. Next we have the slider. Uh, again, just interesting. Tom Sizemore, Daryl Hannah. Looks like a suspense thriller. 
that's the cover this is the <clears throat> E1 release this slider this is the normal artwork they have momentum and IT and E1 Next, I've actually seen this, and I think I have a bootleg of this that probably came from a red box. Katie Holmes, Miss Meadows, and I think this is also on Amazon Prime. This looks very interesting, so looking forward to watching this. I might be watching this this weekend also. Uh, a Pulp Fiction, Mary Poppins. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Katie Holmes, Miss Meadows, this, I vaguely remember the American version of this on the Sci-Fi channel, this is the BBC version of Being Human, I believe they're all like maybe vampires, werewolves or something to that effect living together. Uh, this is season three, so I still need at least season one and two. I'm not sure how many seasons there actually are of this, but for a buck, yeah, it's definitely worth it. That's part of the fun also, <clears throat> seeing if you can actually get the other other two for a buck. So that was just part of my twisted fun. But oh, nice, nice little hardcover. Yeah, maybe just put this into my folder. But three disc set. Nice artwork behind that. Being Human Season 3. We got the DVDs now with the Blu rays. It's more for my wife. Um, I probably would never watch this. You'll probably watch this. Ben Affleck, Javier Bardem, the only ones I know, I know. To the Wonder. And I'm assuming this is some kind of drama. A movie of unfettered, unstoppable hope. Yeah, this is definitely for my, for my wife. I think I probably have about 6,500 movies to watch before this. To the Wonder. Next, this is uh, a murder movie. Stephen Moyer Evidence, Murder is an Art. Um, I'm assuming that's Stephen Moyer because he looks familiar. She looks kind of familiar. This is an RLJ release. Next we have the River Man, the Green River Killer, pleaded guilty to 48 counts of first degree murder. So this is a serial killer movie. <clears throat> Not familiar with any of the actors or actresses. This is I don't know who released this. Not really familiar with that logo. But from the producers of Saw 2, 3, 4, and P2. P2. I'm not sure what P2 is. And it says Predator 2. I don't know. The Rivermen. Next, <clears throat> the Lego Batman. I know they have a 3D version of that. I'm trying to find a decent price for the 3D version before Buck can pass this up. The Lego Man movie. Batman. I've heard these actually pretty good. They're pretty pretty humorous. So I have the DVD and the Blu-ray. And I think uh, the code if it's still good. I'll check that out later. Batman. 
here? Never heard of this movie. Are you here? Estula, 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 Estula. Okay. Owen Wilson, Zach Galifianakis, and Amy Poehler. And nice little slip cover. And I actually like Zach Galifianakis' early stuff. His newer stuff I haven't really watched or really haven't found him quite that funny. I always like Owen Wilson, very personable actor. It's like a VBS release. And you have the DVD and the Blu-ray. Are you here? Another Blu-ray. Scott Atkins, Boyka, Undisputed 4. And if you're not really familiar with Undisputed, the original was Vin Rames and Wesley Snipes. I think I'd have to go back and look. I know Vin Rames is one of those. Then somehow he got injected into the the series. Boyka Undisputed 4. He might still cover. And he's kind of like the, the B the B actors of action heroes, martial arts. He's kind of like the, the 21st century Casper Van Dien, except with possibly more skills. Boyka Undisputed 4. And this, yes, at the Dollar Tree, I saw someone else online get another one of these, except there was a movie I wanted. I already had The Hangover, but to get the uh, steel case for a buck, yeah, I'll definitely pick that up. It's definitely worth it. Great movie also, The Hangover. So, nice little thing to have on your shelf whenever I get my man cave, hopefully sooner than later. And lastly, I haven't even opened this up yet. This is the only one I saw out of all the Dollar Trees I've been to. Uh, I love all these series. Beverly Hillbillies, Bonanza, Dragnet. It's the best of 42 episodes, 24 hours, classic TV. And let me see, let me slide this off. Okay, that slides off like that. Nice case, look at that. Not bad for a buck. Nice little slip cover here. Make sure I keep that nice and pristine. And open it up. And you have the dragnet. That's a Dragnet, which I've already seen at Dollar Tree. The Best of Bonanza, which I saw at Dollar Tree. Then you have The Best of Beverly Hills. I'll start with Beverly Hills Philly. And love the Beverly Hills Billy. What else could he ask for? Rich, poor, white, trash. It's just, it's the American dream. Uh, the Beverly Hills Billies. I like this uh, artwork on the disc. Bonanza. You got the disc one. You have the reversible disc. Bonanza. And the best of Dragnet. I'm assuming the same format. And that. And again, can't forget about the nice little beautiful tin case. Love this case. Very nice. <clears throat> so this is my second Dollar Tree dollar pickup for January 2021. If you're not familiar with this part of the video, this part because I have so many movies and so little space. I have to separate them from the plastic and the artwork, put the artwork in folders and put the disc and Blu-rays in folders also and throw them away. So give me a second while I get this stuff situated. 
Okay, I have everything laid out and ready to be put back in its proper place. Not a bad haul or a pickup for, for this Dollar Tree. As usual, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule just to hang out with me and pick up movies. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Doesn't cost a thing, doesn't hurt. And you'll help me out, help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. If nothing else, share with someone else. Give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.